You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Judges chapter 12. And this is what we read. Then the people of Ephraim mobilized an army and crossed over the Jordan River to Zaphon. They sent this message to Jephthah. Why didn't you call for us to help you fight against the Ammonites? We are going to burn down your house with you in it. Jephthah replied, I summoned you at the beginning of the dispute, but you refused to come. You failed to help us in our struggle against Ammon. So when I realized you weren't coming, I risked my life and went to battle without you, and the Lord gave me victory over the Ammonites. So why have you now come to fight me? The people of Ephraim responded, You men of Gilead are nothing more than fugitives from Ephraim and Manasseh. So Jephthah gathered all the men of Gilead and attacked the men of Ephraim and defeated them. Jephthah captured the shallow crossings of the Jordan River. And whenever a fugitive from Ephraim tried to go back across, the men of Gilead would challenge him. Are you a member of the tribe of Ephraim, they would ask. If the man said, no, I'm not, they would tell him to say, Shibboleth. If he was from Ephraim, he would say, Sibboleth because the people from Ephraim cannot pronounce the word correctly. Then they would take him and kill him at the shallow crossings of the Jordan. In all, 42,000 Ephraimites were killed at that time. Jephthah judged Israel for six years. When he died, he was buried in one of the towns of Gilead. After Jephthah died, Ibzin from Bethlehem judged Israel. He had thirty sons and thirty daughters. He sent his daughters to marry men outside his clan, and he brought in thirty young women from outside his clan to marry his sons. Ibzin judged Israel for seven years. When he died, he was buried at Bethlehem. After Ibzin died, Elon from the tribe of Zebulun judged Israel for ten years. When he died, he was buried at Ijalon in Zebulun. After Elon died, Abdon, son of Hillel, from Pirathon, judged Israel. He had forty sons and thirty grandsons, who rode on seventy donkeys. He judged Israel for eight years. When he died, he was buried at Pirathon in Ephraim, in the hill country of the Amalekites. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word. And we thank you for the privilege to look at it today. And we thank you, Lord, that as we continue our look at the book of Judges, we see that you do not give up on your people. And Lord, we also see that the human heart is often bent on going its own way. We tell you one thing, and then we practice something completely different. Lord, we're grateful that you treat us differently than we treat you. You promised the people of Israel that you were going to send a Redeemer for them. And you kept your promise, even though the people of Israel continually rebelled against you. Lord, you still sent your son, Jesus Christ, to this earth to rescue and redeem humanity. And we pray, Lord, that each and every day that we live would be a day that we would seek to imitate the life of Christ, that we would seek to implement the character of Christ in our day-to-day -day life, and that we would live before you with integrity that you empower by your Holy Spirit. Lord, we love you, we thank you for your presence with us today, and we commit this day to your care. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. Don't forget, we also have a sister podcast called The Informal Bible Study, where we study the scriptures in depth in a casual and applicational way. New episodes of the Informal Bible Study go live every Monday, so be sure to check it out and subscribe through your favorite podcast player. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.